the gingerbread hut here, and so uh, this is a uh, this is a demonstration model, you know, for alternative building. It's um, it's using wooden chipping pallets, right? So it's pallets filled with straw and then covered in an earthen plaster, right? So that's what these walls are here. Is it just you know pallets, straw, earth, and then a plaster? And, uh, and so I've been driving this around now for you know almost a year. Uh, you know, a couple little hairline cracks, but nothing major. Uh -huh. So uh, I mean, I'm a big advocate for alternative building. You know, okay. so you want to come around this way, I can show you the inside. You know, these are other earthen structures I do. You know, I do also do stationary structures like this. You know, with like a little, you know, a little bathroom shower, uh -huh. kitchen, uh -huh. composting toilets. Another little kitchen, you know, a sleeping space like that. These are great. And, uh, and so yeah, coming around. As you can see here, uh, you know, just a nice little entryway, glass blocks. Uh -huh. And this little porch here. Yeah. So this, yeah, yeah. So this is just—it has a little kitchenette. I see, and the table. Comes Let's see, the up. table can fold up. Uh huh. It has a, a loft upstairs. Wonderful. You can climb up and see the loft. It has a you know queen queen size bed up in the Very up there. Very nice, lovely. Yeah. And I've had three people sleep up there. And, uh huh. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, so it's just, uh, yeah, it's just very cozy, you know, it's and so it's a great solution for super low-cost housing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then what, you just um, yeah. poop in the woods? So you have a composting toilet outside. Uh -huh. And uh, That's uh, the one yeah. thing that I, yeah, would be probably important. Look at your cabins. Yeah, so these little cabins. Yeah, and so I do, so, you know, conventional construction, you know, uses uh, you know fiberglass insulation, drywall, paint, right? Which is all expensive and toxic. Whereas the palatable carbon, which is what we call this, it just <laughs> uses straw, pallets, earth, all recycled materials. So yeah, it's really well insulated. It's it's fire resilient. Uh huh. You know? Where where are you based? Are you I'm in everywhere? Sonoma County. I'm in uh, Sebastopol. Uh huh. Sebastopol, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I travel all over. I do this work, you know. Uh -huh. um, you know I'll be uh, teaching a workshop in a couple weeks in Oakland uh, to build uh, one of these structures in Oakland. So yeah. have a lot. Well, I thank love you it. so much. Plant on this back there. You can put your flowers right. It's beautiful. Well designed. Yes. And on top there's a little loft. It's I love it. It's amazing. amazing. It's amazing content. Right out your window, you have your flowers. Mm -hmm. I get vegetables. And also you. That if the house is small enough, you don't even need a permit. Right. You don't need one. That's it's nice. Like and it's durable. It's nice. I love it. Beautiful, beautiful. Maybe earth structure. It's the way to go. That's the way to go. Yes. Especially because it's tied to the earth. It doesn't um, pollute more. It doesn't leave such a uh, footprint. Residue. No residue. Yes. 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 Wonderful. Thank you for this. One day I will call you. Yes. And one day I'll see your book on Amazon or something. I will see. I met him. I knew that house. I've been in that house. <laughs> I love the movement. I love that people are thinking about this and trying to grow this movement to have something that makes so much more sense environmentally and with our health. Um, it's living, forced to live in a suburb because of financing options and the way that our system is sick every day, seeing the way that houses are being built, uh, the amount of energy that they use, and just the entire system that is created around it. So um, I hope that this movement grows and that we are able to live more in tune with nature in the future. What we have here is, it's all natural and it's an alternative to what we see, you know, mainstream and the fact that it's movable, all the materials are natural, um, you know, when you have these beautiful designs, um, it's really something for people to look at.